the southeastern coast of the United States and the eastern portion of Mexico were not originally part of North America, or at least North America's nucleus, Laurentia, but rather were derived from terrains or microcontinents, which were instead associated with the giant southern supercontinent, Gondwana. These became part of North America during the formation of Pangaea. Either they fused with North America uh, as uh, Gondwana was approaching the northern continent, or when Pangaea rifted, these portions which had been attached to uh, Gondwana remained sutured to North America. Today there are separate regions of Mexico, Central America, and the southeastern United States which do not match the surrounding geology of North America and are thought to be Peri-Gondwanan. Um, but their uh, existence in Gondwana, whether they were connected or separate, uh, this uh, is uh, something which is estimated. But there were separate terrains which formed uh, the state of Florida, much of the southeastern United States, different sections of Mexico, and uh, Guatemala and the Nicaragua-Costa Rica border. Although there are different models for the origin of the Caribbean plate, it is thought that the Farallon plate, uh, which made up much of the Pacific margin of North America, was the origin. And as this plate collided with the two Americas, which were not yet joined at this point, the Caribbean plate represents a section which then was transported uh, to a position in between North America and South America, while much of uh, the Farallon plate was being uh, subducted. As the Caribbean plate was lodged between the two Americas, this resulted in the Caribbean Large Igneous Province, uh, a large region of uh, basalt floods of magma, which thickened the oceanic uh, crust uh, of the Caribbean. And when uh, the two Americas began to uh, approach each other, uh, North America subducted underneath uh, the Caribbean plate. And the Puerto Rican Trench is actually the deepest part of the Atlantic Ocean where North America is uh, subducting under uh, the Caribbean plate. The uh, remains of the Farallon plate, the Cocos and Nazca plates are still moving east, which helps to uh, uplift uh, the Caribbean and uh, Central America. Volcanic activity. Uh, created volcanic arch islands uh, throughout uh, the Caribbean in the Cretaceous and also uh, uplifted uh, portions of Central America. And the Lesser Antilles Arc is being formed by volcanic activity in the second half of the Cenozoic era. In the last four million years, Panama you has united the two Americas, which has prevented ocean currents from traveling from the Pacific into the Caribbean and then the Atlantic. This was probably the final trigger which initiated the Ice Ages, which began shortly after the Americas fused. A portion of Greater Panama fused to South America along its western coast. As sea levels rose during the interglacial periods and fell during the glacial uh, periods, uh, the position of corals changed. Corals need to occur in water of a specific depth since they are performing photosynthesis and need sunlight. As a result, some of the land uh, which exists in Florida and the Keys and islands uh, was uh, once coral when sea levels were higher. And so the changing sea level during ice ages affected corals, which then helped to add uh, material uh, to some of these uh, coastal areas.